Frederick Douglass family. Um, so I'm here to do the research portion of uh, our PD. And so for the research portion of Science Fair, um, essentially what the kids are expected to do is to make a research paper very similar to the ones that are turned in for English, um, except it has obviously more of scientific knowledge. Um, and this is where English can really come in as more of a cross-curricular um, you know, type of movement for the building. Um, where they can help us provide and you know scaffold the kids in good writing structure, as well as um, maybe possibly allowing allowing them to do free writes in class, um, or giving them time to work on um, you know the research portion of their project, um, or maybe even giving insight. So I just kind of want to let uh, the Douglas family know uh, really what the research paper entails for Science Fair. Um, so obviously it kind of looks if you look this is an example of a student work. Um, it has a nice cover page to it. Um, it has a title page and um, the table of contents. And I feel like a kindergarten teacher right now. And so uh, a main difference is that it starts with an abstract. And you know, in some books and novels, they do have abstracts as well. Um, an abstract for science fair really talks about um, the purpose of the actual uh, experiment. And so you know, you go through, and the students do incorporate pictures and the methods that they, they've used. Um, a big thing for us is that uh, we definitely need work cited, like any paper is um, to be expected. And then in addition, um, we need results. And so the data tables are included inside here. And conclusion, conclusion discussion. And obviously you see right here is the work cited, acknowledgments. Um, the research paper is really important. Uh, essentially because not only do we know that the students uh, were actually able to do the experiment but they were able to take away from the experiment and make kind of a conclusive uh, statement based on what they've learned. Thank you.